Hello everyone, this is Rashida. Welcome to my channel. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video that this video is going to be on how to make multi-index data frame. So not too much introduction I have to do, let's just dive in. Uh, I want to show you these are the two data frames I'm going to make today and I'm going to demonstrate how we can do that from raw data. Uh, first, we have this uh, data frame with double index, right? We have two layers of index. So let's just import pandas as pd and import numpy as np. Well, now let's just have some data first, just raw simple data. So here I already typed some data so that I don't have to demonstrate how I type. So Okay, I already have data here, so yeah. Here is the data. Look at it, we have two columns and six rows. And it's a two-dimensional. Usually uh, when we make data frame, we need two-dimensional list or two-dimensional array. You can do a two-dimensional array as well. Well, uh, now let's PD the data frame and data if we do it it looks like this right and i want to make it like this okay so how do we do that we have uh two rows for bob two rows for shelly and two rows for nilly and for bob 2019 2020 two years data shelly same 2019 2020 and for nilly same so let's make the index first instead of writing index right in like this because it's going to be confusing later on so we have two bobs two shellies two nillies two bobs two rows for bobs two rows for uh shelly and two rows for nilly okay because two layers of uh, index, so we have to have two dimensional list for index as well. And look, uh, it's 2019-2020, right? So 2019-2020. We have we need to have three sets of 2019-2020 for our three students. Well. So six uh, for first layer, six for second layer. Look how our, how our index looks like. It's here, right? So PD dot data frame. Now first we put the data, data, this, and then uh, index equals to this int that we made. Okay. Look here. Oh, nearly I put made a mistake here. Okay. Okay. Bob Shelley Nilly. Uh, do you see that we put two bobs, but here pandas automatically take one. It doesn't write Bob twice. Okay. And for column we have math and reading let's do it columns uh, math and reading look at it so we have exactly the same data frame from the raw data we have already done it let's give a name to the data frame well now, if you want, you can name the layers of index as well. So, how will you do df.index.names. Name. And second one is year. So, now check our df. So, look, we have name and year. We named the index labels as well. So the first one is done. Now let's look at the second one. 
Here we have two layers of index and two layers of columns as well. Do you see that? School 1, 2, and 3, and we have same 2019, 2020 uh, data for all schools. And then we have 7th and 8th grades, math, reading, and writing scores. It could be the average. So for this one as well, I already, so we have six rows and six columns. So I already prepared six rows and six columns of data. Okay, this is our data. Now, if we just do it like this, how also in our data in your course. It looks like this, very plain. And now we will name them. Name all the columns and first index, okay? Oh, I should probably show you one more thing here, actually. Uh, instead of... Uh, okay. Look at it. What we did here, index. I want to, I should probably show you, I don't want to miss it. Index. Instead of writing the six uh, names where Bob twice, Shelly twice, and Nilly twice, and three times repeating the same thing, we can actually do another thing uh, that is very efficient from product. Here, we have two layers for index. It's instead of right in one. So, we write Bob, uh, Shelly, and Nilly. And then, 2019 and 2020, 2019, 2020. Okay? So from products, so what it's going to do, it will take a product of it. Look at it. So Bob 2019, Bob 2020, Shelly 2019, Shelly 2020, Nearly 2019, Nearly 2020. Oh, I put 2010, sorry. So look, 2019 and 2010, 2020, okay? So now if we do df dot, uh, sorry, pd, dot data frame data because we have data here right data and if we put this in one in one it's gonna get the same way the index the way we it took before right so instead of writing this way we can write period at multi index from product and just give the values. We don't have to type it twice or thrice. And just, uh, just give the math and reading the column names. So here. Well, index. So we will. Use the same process here, print multi index dot from product. Definitely, we have two dimensional. So we have school one, two, three. So we just need to write them once. School one, school two, and school three. First layer. And in second layer, we have what we have 2019 and 2020 three times we don't have to write three times we'll write only once 2019 2020 so this is our index and let's do the columns as well we have we can do the same thing period at multi index at from product and because we have double layer in columns as well so we have to have two dimensional list so we have seventh grade and eighth grade and 
The second layer is math, reading, and writing. Math, reading, and writing. Okay. Now, instead of columns, let's write columns. Otherwise, it may be confusing. Here it is. Now we have the data here, scores, and we have index, we have columns. All we need to do is to put them together. Scores, index equals to in, and columns equals calls. Here is the data frame that we wanted to make, exactly the same one. Okay. So, as usual, if you want, you can name the level of index and levels of columns as well. Like, so, just give it a name, df, so do it, df.index.names, so it's uh, schools, and years. And we can name the columns as well, column levels, df.columns.names, it's rates and subjects. Look, schools, years, and grades, subjects. I find it it's too cluttered though sometimes, but if you think it's necessary because it's 7th grade and 8th grade, it shows it's their grades. And math reading writing i don't think we need these grades and subjects but i'm demonstrating it by any chance in your data frame if you need it so all right that's all i wanted to show you today how to create multi-indexed data frame in my next video i will show you how to index or slice how to take the slices of the multi-indexed data frame how to query it Okay, if you like this uh, video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.